taking you around a few spots in Nova Scotia. This is not like a comprehensive travel guide. This is just some places I've been blessed enough to explore where I happened to bring my camera gear with me. So I hope you enjoy some of the beauty that this province has to offer. Let's do it. There is nothing like a visit out to Peggy's Cove. If you're in the area, then you definitely have to stop at Tom's Lobster Shack for a lobster roll. It is one of the best ones that I have had. Obviously, if you're in Peggy's Cove, you have to make a visit to the famous lighthouse. This is probably the most popular tourist attraction in all of Nova Scotia. So you can take your time walking across the rocks here and watch the waves crash in. And before leaving for the day, of course, you know, another food stop is a must. And this is Shaw's Landing here. So it's a cute little restaurant that's on the water. So here we have seafood chowder and fresh mussels. Their seafood chowder is so good. And you also, you can never beat Atlantic lobster. Okay, one of my favorite places in all of Nova Scotia is Lunenburg. So this is on the south shore of the province. It's an old fishing town and it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's one of those places that truly just gives off all of the maritime vibes with the bright colorful houses. There's a lot of cute little restaurants, cafes, and of course you also get the stunning ocean views. On this day here, I actually just popped into number nine cafe, which is so cute on the interior and really good coffee and snacks. So I have just taken a little road trip up to Cape Breton Island. I'm doing the Cabot Trail and I've decided to come during the fall because I've had so many people recommend going during the fall season. Apparently that's the best time of year to go. Although I'm about a week or two late. I think peak fall foliage was about one to two weeks ago would have been like the perfect time, but just even driving through, it's absolutely stunning. So I would definitely recommend coming during the fall too. I'm only doing it in one day, although so you can definitely take your time with the Cabot Trail. So many people take multiple days to go through because there's tons of hikes, tons of things to do, a lot of really, really great nature. Today, I've just decided to do two hikes. So I'm at my first hike right now. It's called Middlehead Trail, and that is in Inganish. And we are about to get going on it. Starting off here, and then we go through here, and then all the way to the end. I have made it to the end of Middlehead. It took me about an hour to get all the way to the end, but I was stopping a lot and like taking pictures, taking in the views. Um, I also just shot some pretty epic drone footage from the point up here. So yeah, give yourself a little bit of time to soak it all up. It's absolutely stunning up here. So you can just take in the ocean view. Not a bad way to start your day off. Thank you. 
one of the best parts about uh, going through the Cabot Trail is all of the little stops and lookouts that they have along the way. I stopped at this lookout here, which I thought was absolutely stunning, really great views. And I just kind of soaked it up for a little bit. I actually ended up seeing two seals that were in the water, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, as you can see, you know, the colors were out in full force for the fall, even though I was a little bit too late. You can see there's a ton of bear trees, but there's also still, you know, a lot of that beautiful fall magic happening. We've made it to stop number two. Well, not stop number two, but hike number two. And this one isn't really a hike as much as it is a walk. Um, so it is accessible, which is nice. Better to finish off the day with this one. So we are here, and then I think the idea is to go and do the full loop and come back around. If you do visit the Cabot Trail, I definitely recommend the Skyline Trail. The views at the end of the boardwalk were honestly incredible. Uh, I took a little bit of time just hanging out there and I actually ended up seeing a whale breach the water, which was really cool. As you can see in my little video, I tried to snap it on my phone, but all I got was the aftermath of that little circle in the water, but really, really cool and had a great day driving through the trail. Thank you. 